Today I'm going to show you how to add a picture to a WordPress post. So, one of the very first things you need to do is you need to go to your WordPress Word website login. And to do that, you can type in http colon forward slash forward slash the name of your site dot com forward slash WP admin is usually where we go. Um, let me see how this works out. Okay, and there we're at the sign-in page for uh, our WordPress blog and you'd need to sign in with the username and password that you set up when you installed WordPress on your on your site. Okay, here we are at the dashboard of your WordPress site and you need to go to we're going to be adding a post and we're going to add a picture in this post. So let's click on post and click add new. Now you need to have a title for your post and this one we're going to call adding a picture to a WordPress post. This is how you add a picture to a WordPress post. Okay, you need to click where you want the picture added to the um, whatever the writing is that you've inserted into your post and you can either put it at the beginning or you can put it in the middle. Uh, I'm going to show you how to put it here at the beginning so you can see a few different uh, different ways of, of doing it. But I'm going to add it here at the beginning and I'm going to go up here the little box right above the WYSIWYG editor you'll see it says add an image. Click on that and a new little window is going to appear. Now we're going to select files from our computer so we're going to go to select files this is going to take us to our computer. You need to select the file where your pictures are located. And then select a picture that you'd like to use. Okay, that's going to download the picture and this box is going to appear. It's going to show you the picture. It's important to add in the alternate text for a couple of reasons. Uh, when somebody hovers over the picture, it will show that. But also, if you have someone that is hearing impaired and they're using, uh, or, or sight impaired, and they're using um, some equipment, uh, this will help them be able to know where they're at on the computer. Uh, this is the link URL for the picture itself. Uh, unless you're adding an outside link or a link to uh, a different post or page on your website, I like to click none and uh, leave that blank so that when someone clicks on my picture it does not does not direct them somewhere else. Now alignment is something else that you can choose. You can click no alignment. You can click left where your picture will be left of your writing. You can click center where your picture will be centered in the writing or you can click right where your picture will be at the right hand side of your writing. I'm going to click left to kind of show you how that works. You also have a choice of the different sizes. You can choose a thumbnail, medium, large, or the full size image. Sometimes your full size images are too large to actually go on your web page. So, uh, so you will need to um, need to make sure that your your image sizes are correct and you can choose what size. I'm going to choose thumbnail for this one and I'm going to insert that into the post. And there you see how my text is added here on the side of the picture. Now if I had more text it would 
scroll, you know, it would come down here and it would actually wrap around my picture. And then all you need to do is finish up your post. You can add your post tags if you'd like. Be sure to check which category you'd like your post to, to appear in. And then you click Publish. Okay, then if we go to my site and we refresh the page, there you're going to see my post, adding a picture to a WordPress post. If you click on that, it will take you to the post and there's the picture right on the post. I hope this helps you understand a little better how to add pictures to your WordPress blog.